lists, but as I look up the line, as I look at the lineup composition, both of these lineups have plenty of split push potential. Broodmother's already ahead. The the sad thing is though, the webs are on cooldown, so it. she can't just go ahead and place that. Well, mid lane Ferrari takes the CS lead, gets stunned up though, and maybe with the remnants, they'll slow him down. But again, how do you kill? This Bristleback. Yeah. You've taken him down to low HP. He turns back around. Here comes Chuan with a DD onto Xiao 8. And maybe even the Storm Spread. Chuan's DD and the Cool Spray stacking up. What looked like God. a decent attempt onto Ferrari's Bristleback turned back around on. Chins. And, and that has as much or more influence. We might see a fight here yeah, over the top of the room. Going to Faith to zip in, and this is going to be an easy kill. Faith can't get any spells off, but Ferrari. Yeah, but is Ferrari going to get stuff out of this? He wants to keep on fighting. The Cool Sprays are stacking up. MMY and Xiao Bar drop in oh. low. But not low I, enough I felt Ferrari. like he might have been able to, and I think that's the right call there to to fall back and live. Yeah. But I feel like he might be, he might have this okay. The, the, well, he's got limited mana. He can't really jump. Look at anyway. Ferrari here, gonna get a solo kill on Jow Eight in the mid lane. Easy, Sorry. Easy. easy. MMY comes in. Well, what's MMY feet? gonna do? He slows him down. But Ferrari with ten stick charges. He's got a bottle charge. He's got more than enough regen. And then you've got Faith. Faith walks in and says, "Okay, well, maybe they go on you here. Maybe Storm." Juan, who's had free farm on his lion and is close to his blink dagger, and this this could set him back a couple minutes for the blink dagger, and every little bit really has help. But boy, if Yao goes down here, oh yeah, no. throw oh the no. sports spoilings into his back and take him out. Juan on bot lane will go down, maybe he gets hexed up, but it's not going to stop the damage output from LGD. But trading is not what LGD rests. There's no way he spots them out. It's not even really that sneaky at this point. I mean, oh, maybe jumps in. They find Chuan. He can't get the hex will stun down, but I don't know. Omni slash back onto Xiao Wei. And you, you can kind of see, I mean, LGD is sort of trying to restore a little bit of map e equilibrium by pressuring the Radiant jungle to make up for the fact that Luo is just running wild in their jungle. But, I mean, where's the pressure going to come from? You've got Ferrari just pressuring mid lane by himself. You know, come at me, boys. One versus three. And he TPs one of the three. Uh, he forces one of the three to TP out. Like he's, he's, just, <laughs> he's just look at it, He's just standing there with his back to the tree play. What okay. can you do, guys? Ice Blast is going to land on Ferrari, but then what? Figure of Death down to maybe with a sport spidelings. Oh, they bring him down. Chuan does give up his life for that, but look at these spiders trapping him. Oh, oh, oh no! Mean. The good vacuum wall will bring down the Brood Mother at long last. Silo pops his shapeshift, and Xiao will survive for now, swapping himself out. Great, good, very, very nice play by the Dark too there to save his teammate. And I thought they were hosed in that fight, but yeah, ahead. This is what they can do. They can basically take a lane in and of themselves, pressure with complete impunity, and the rest of the team do whatever they want. But unfortunately, it's IG that's gotten off the big okay. lead. Oh, boy. I've seen this story before. They've tried. Maybe now they'll succeed. Sala goes in with a shapeshift, but maybe it's stuck between a rock and a oh, hard place. On. Brave goes down onto Ferrari, keeps him alive, and there's no way maybe he's escaping. Sala goes for the kill of the Faith and will... Take him out. He gets a double kill for his efforts, taking the two supports with him. And Darkseer might die here. I mean, Ferrari is just like, yeah, whatever. What are you going to do? Surge in one second. Oh, you can't surge when you silence, though. Ferrari just keeps on going. Swap back from Xiao 8. We'll keep him alive for a little while longer. And yeah, and we'll they actually can chase escape the base with his here life. if they want to. One more kill. Oh break. my god, Ferrari. <laughs> He's diving in deep. He's blocked <laughs> up by the wolves and he turns back. Nice Silo! Silo, no, he TPs in, bumps in that crew, but Ferrari just not giving up. Oh, good, good vacuum. Again. Great Yo, vacuum. Saving his team. And with the Ice Blast, they'll finally bring down Ferrari's Bristleback. 5, 1, and 3. It, it took him diving tier 3s to get that kill. I, I mean, Yao is just clinging to the ledge with his fingernails here. That's two in a row where it would have been absolute disaster for IG and Yao, Yao's plays make sure they get something out of it. Top lane though, blink into maybe, they're gonna get him. Burning has no mana for Omni Slash, but they don't even need it. Finger of Death, Hex, and a couple of swipes from Burning's Katana. More than enough to secure that kill as Luo on this bot lane, causing havoc once again. Yeah, Phage just messaged me, on, messaged me on Skype, by the way, that the median blink timing for Lion in 6.83 is slightly over 20 minutes. I mean, this is how far ahead that Chuan is. It's the enemy who are, who are taking Roshan pretty quickly. Omni slashed, got a couple of kills, killed Roshan, and stole Aegis Immortal. This guy really does live up to name. Great oh. Earthspike to start things off. Jabba taken low, but then the vacuum comes in. Omni slashed for burning, cleaving and critting through them all. But maybe he's found Ferrari. Slowed down, swapped out, and dead to the Ice nice Blast. Nice shot. Nice job by LGD, recognizing what was coming there. They were on top of that all the way, and they're going to get a couple more kills out of this, poss possibly. Well, they found Faith, the Necro 3 here from Sylar. 
Scouting out Luo, the stun. Yep, just oh, in the time. Stun! Luo being caught out. Nowhere to run. LGD, what's the flight recap say about that? Because that was a big old fight for them. Wow. Spire in, what, 20 seconds or something like that? Oh, there's a little more time there. 30, 40 seconds. They've got this window. They've got the time where they could even just take racks here. Four takes down to Ferrari, but Earth they win this back. fight, BKB, yeah. Crystal back. He's doing, uh, he's doing quite a fair amount of damage and forces LGD just to retreat up back on that ramp. I don't know. Xiao Hate, okay, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's optimistic. Going for the wow. TP, I think it's a little more of a bait just to say, okay, well, take my life, let the rest of my team survive. No, I think it's, I, I think that was definitely calculated and then I'm going to make him spend the Omni Slash if they want to kill here. Luo, not going to be as lucky though. The jam on maybe will allow them to bring down the Broodmother, so... Yeah. They lose their two supports, they get a tier 3 at top, and they also kill a brood, just stopping that annoyance on this bot lane. Yeah, and even that, I say a, a, a really good trade. If if LGD can... The only thing holding LGD back is is catching maybe up. But if if they can manage to, to get a couple of kills on maybe a pickoff or two, uh, I think IG are in serious trouble in this match. Look at this! Maybe Zip's about 4,000 range to find Faith. He could try TPing out, but holding the Vortex till the very last second there will secure this kill for the Storm Spirit. Oh, come on, Director. <laughs> he can attack really quickly, but with the minus armor on buildings from the AC, he's got the Necro units, the Howl, the Vlads, the Wolves. These racks aren't going to last long. We're going to see the wrap around here, though. Ferrari in the back lines as Burning Pops' BKB goes straight in on Dr. Yao. They take him down with an, uh, an instant Omni Slash. Has to be used, though, by Burning because he drops so low on HP. Wow, Man that was fighting perfect. Silo and he dies. Silo manages to take down the Juggernaut. They've lost three heroes in the process, and I, I don't know. That, that's a good fight with Ferrari DDing. Not just, and just go in on either the Jug or the Bristleback while he's facing you. Ferrari forced to lose BKP a little bit early there. I don't know if he's going to be able to fight through all this. Takes down the Necro units. Okay. Okay, that's his focus. Stop the push at the root. Just maybe jumps in and gets obliterated. Ferrari and Burning wipe the floor with the Storm Spirit. But now it looks like they might have to back up a little bit. Good old Earth Bug there onto maybe and Yao. Finger of Death will finish him off, but Ferrari's dead. The Grave keeps him alive, but only for so long as Burning spins back and racks are going to fall. Ferrari has no buyback. Yeah, and that's, we've been seeing the Lycan against the Jug more and more, and you saw partly why there. I mean, VG. So you definitely want to win this game to keep your chances alive of progressing. There is one spot for that D2CL final. For, for a Chinese team, swap back, Ferrari, Ferrari. caught out, they just played now from Silo. They've locked him down, but they can't kill him off, he's got too much HP. He's just too tanky! Omni Slash now comes out from burning Silo. Oh, the oh, Force Staff. lucky Force Staff. Keeps him alive for now, but LGD there dropping like flies. Luo battling up and fighting against Yao, but he's going to surge himself. Okay, there we go, there's the defuse there line action. The That's what I was looking for. As IG defend their base and... Take a pretty Somehow, good Somehow, Ferrari got his back turned yeah. before he was abyssaled. If, if, as much as anything else in that point, the fact that Ferrari just somehow managed, I, I think he got, may have gotten four staff forward, or at the very least was, was caught out of position there, but he managed to get his back turned before the abyssal went on. different if Yao had, a, uh, had his sheep stick completed here. Oh no, eventual spread. Okay, they're still burning back. BKB's popped. Jabba going to give his life for this one as Burning turns back around and swipes him down. Ice Blast hits four. Burning now stunned up. The Abyssal Blade from Silo locks him in. Ferrari dropping low. The wall, the illusions, everything just working against IG as they take down the Broodmother. Oh, and huge. Roshan is completely open now for them. Huge. And I was thinking I was thinking to myself right before that fight that, boy, LGD needs a way to initiate. I just, I don't know, I just marvel at it. Uh, maybe, maybe not. A lot of people aren't interested in it to the extent that I am, but I mean, this is what makes Zhao Eight's team so good is that it just feels like they always have a plan for how they're going to win. He's looking for the swap now. Does he? Does he want Ferrari? He wants Burning. They get him. He pops BKB. Turns back around, but the Ghost Emperor will allow the Ventral Spirit to survive for now. And they turn back around. Silo fighting in the fire and the flames will get dropped by Ferrari. And they found a big old kill as LGD are now getting rebuffed. They have to bail. They have to run. I'm not sure this was the fight they really wanted because Ferrari is mowing them down. MMY dropping low, 500 HP, but it only takes a couple of hits now from Luo to finish him off. Yeah, and and at this point, you know, maybe he can have all the mana that he wants, but the missing piece is that if they can get Sour down early in the fight, 
that's just such a huge amount of LGD's damage output. LGD's damage output, you know, Storm does a lot of damage if he can stay in the fight and if his team can stick around. But he mainly the the fact that Ferrari and Burning are so tanky. Oh, we're gonna swap yeah, back into Ferrari. There, there Let's see how tanky he can be when he gets blasted by the AA. Maybe in the back lines going straight to Chuan and now Burning. Gets the pistol to Sylar, but the heal is there. They can't finish him off. The cleave from Burning, the Omni Slash, not enough. As it looks like IG oh, wow. have to buy back Ferrari, turn things around, but the wall is a vacuum. Maybe zipping, zipping, gets another. Sylar with a triple kill, cleaning up IG, forcing a double buyback. In fact, was that a triple? No, Sad. just double. Dub double buyback, but but uh, look at the heroes that it's on. It, that's kind of funny. I was just thinking before that fight, you, it's a glass half full, glass half empty thing, right? You can say that he's not gonna. Have, it's not gonna matter. I don't think he's not gonna have time to get that and half buyback. No, definitely not. Last chance salute here for IG as their last lane of racks are getting pressured by LGD. The howl with the necro units. Looks like it's going to be a pretty easy take. There's no glyph, there's no real way to stop it. IG have to go and fight. They have to go in now and they've got no choice. LGD know this. They'll give up, maybe. No, nope. swap back. Xiao 8 saving his teammate. Luo goes down as Sylar rips him apart. The Omni Slash now for Burning going to focus the creep wave and bash up Sylar. Okay, okay, they've got a good fight, but vacuum! Yao with a mean, big old back at the wall, turning this fight straight back around on his head. IG looking in a rough spot as maybe cleans up house. Ferrari, I don't know what your plan is now, buddy. The buyback from Burning, maybe they save their racks. Maybe they hold on for a few more minutes, but LGD and they have a slot to switch out. He's got Gem, which he could potentially just give up, but he doesn't need another item. He doesn't need to no, give up this Gem. And when they swap Lua back in, that's exactly what this Gem's for. No buyback on the Broodmother, Lion now dropping pretty damn quick. Big old vacuum once again. LTD, clean sweep through this fight as they've taken down three. And now GG, looking to be man. four. Good only slash for burning, but what does it accomplish? It accomplishes his, his own death. Sylar follows them and swipes him with that big old claw. Ferrari TP's in and dies straight after. GG well plays called as LGD take game number three here in the D2CL Chinese playoffs. I am sorry because LGD all played really well, obviously, but this was GG Zhao 8. I mean, he, he had a plan from the very beginning to win this game, and they just executed so crisply. This was this is the kind of game that I love watching because, to me, this is a game that was almost entirely about strategy, and LGD, LGD just had such great control.